my two dogs. Uh, on the left is Rumo, he's my beautiful boy, and on the right, oop, there goes Leela. Um, they're actually litter mates, they're both three years old. Um, we got Leela eight weeks and Rumo um, at nine months after his first family gave him back to the breeder um, because they couldn't cope with him. Um, adopting two has been absolutely the best thing we ever did. Um, so here we are, about to go on our backpacking adventures. So, uh, right puppies, shall we go? Yeah? All right, let's go. We are going this way, and this is Leela and Rumo in action. So come on, straight on, and off we go. We're just back from the Abbey Moor sled dog races up in the Highlands. This is the biggest mushing event um, of the year in the UK with over a thousand dogs and 250 mushers competing. And then today, after about two hours sleep, we've been up since four o'clock this morning um, and we went to spectate and see some of the races and, uh, and then we decided it was time to crack on with training and uh, completed the last leg of the dog's copper level backpacking which is um, through the AMWA's working dog scheme. This ties in beautifully um, with what I'm doing at the moment to improve my endurance and to uh, bring up my fitness level in preparation for the Alaskan expedition that I'll be doing in April. This is quite a typical training session. Um, in preparation for the Alaskan expedition. Um, my dogs and I have been doing quite big treks through the countryside and on the coastal path um, most days. We're doing just five miles today though due to um, lack of time on this particular occasion. Um, but it's going really well and uh, we're having a lot of fun and I think our fitness levels have already improved um, quite significantly since we began um, this training about a month ago now. So this is the Fife Riviera, as we like to call it. Um, we're directly across from Edinburgh over there. And this is our usual route, which is the coastal path between Burnt Island and Aberdeer and back. It's about five miles long, and we do it most days. Um, we have been building it up and trying to go as far as Dargetty Bay and back, which is um, just over 10 miles. And that's going really well. The only thing that's holding us back really is really poor weather. And I suppose that's to be expected up here in Scotland. Cumbria. Uh, it's been a really long but really fun weekend and uh, we didn't get any physical training done for the Arctic expedition so I'll be making up for it this coming week. We're going to do three lots of 10 mile walks hopefully and uh, also complete the last two legs of the bronze backpacking titles for the dogs. And you might be wondering what on earth has walking or running on a beach got to do with Alaska? Well the closest equivalent I can get to training on snow is actually training on sand. Um, and that's why I'm here because actually 
running and walking on the sand is exhausting and it's much much harder work than running on trails um, or tarmac or grass or any hard surface really um, and that's the reason that I'm here so we've just finished doing a, a couple of miles of running we've just walked up and down the beach a few times and now it's time for us to head home so that I can have a shower get changed and get back to um, my day job <laughs> hello I appreciate you won't be able to see very much on this particular video but um, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the conditions that we're facing right now. We're on the coastal path um, having not long left Burnt Island and we're on our way to Aberdour. This is going to be a five mile run in total. I say run but actually it's so muddy we're not able to, to jog or sprint right now so we're just walking. Um, it is phenomenally wet and muddy today. It's been raining very heavily for the last 90 minutes or so. Um, even the dogs are a bit hesitant about pushing ahead through some of the deep and puddles. But this is what a lot of our training uh, has been like because I do work long hours and so the majority of my training tends to take place um, in the evenings or even just late afternoon but because of the time of year it means that we're almost always training in the darkness. So we are picking up a bit of speed now, having a jog. Um, anyway, so just wanted to show you what my training sessions are actually like. Unfortunately for us, the rain has just started again. So we're really not having the best luck today. I don't know if you can actually see this, but the rain is coming down really, really heavily. So all in all, not really enjoying today's training session whatsoever. But as much as I'm disliking being out in the cold and the wet, um, it's all for a fantastic cause. And it's nothing compared to what I'll be facing in Alaska. I mean, I saw Joe Henderson's update today where he said that it was minus 53 Fahrenheit. Um, I've never even encountered temperatures anywhere near as low as that. The coldest I've ever been is a uh, minus 23 Celsius. Um, so I mustn't complain, I'm just going to trudge on, but really it would be nice to have some dry, calm weather for a change. Getty Bay. Behind me is one of the most radioactive beaches in Scotland, so we will not be going down there for a play. Um, this is our halfway point. We've done over five miles, and now we're going to turn around and head back home. So we should be home in about two hours' time, and when we get back, we will have done over ten miles, and that's the last leg of the AMWA's Bronze Backpacking Award finished. Um, the dogs are carrying 20% of their body weight at the moment, and I've got my, if you see it, got my back backpack on as well. completed another 10 mile trek. Um, we're here in Clackmannanshire. We did a huge trek with some friends and Leela and Rumo's baby brother Ash um, through various glens. It was a mudslide for most of the walk. We were um, battered by very strong cold winds and there was very very heavy rain at certain points as well. So again the weather is uh, trying to stop us getting on with our training but 
we persevered and it did take us nearly five hours this time but it's all worth it it's all part of our training regime and we'll be out again tomorrow to complete yet another 10 mile trek <music> completed 25 out of 32 kilometers yes it's been very windy it's been a bit nippy but uh, all in all really quite chuffed with how we're doing the dog's still going strong there they are trotting away and uh, unfortunately though I have not escaped injury free this time I think uh, it was just a fluke the first time we did the 20 miles that I escaped without any aches or pains because this time for already the last two hours or so, I have been suffering with uh, increasingly painful blisters upon my feet. And they are just getting worse and worse with each step. So uh, the last hour or so, I'd say I've been sort of muttering ow to myself for the last every five seconds. 